Lincoln is a beautiful town nestled along the Penobscot River in the great state of Maine. Since it was first settled, people have enjoyed the 13 lakes, the sounds of loons, the wildlife, the wonderful views, and the peaceful, fulfilling lifestyle it offers. The name Matanokok, a word given to a lake, a stream, an island, and later other Lincoln landmarks, has an interesting history. It is first noted on a 1793 survey, but with a different spelling. Subsequent surveys also showed other spellings. It appeared in its present form in 1829 in a survey by Moses Greenleaf. The Abnaki meaning of Matanaka, as applied to the lake, is lake that ends almost at the river. The island translation of Matanaugh is small broken islands. In the 1820s, Aaron Woodbury, Alfred Gates, Benjamin Hammond, Ira Fish, and others came to settle in this area. The town's early activities were centered around farming and lumbering. In the fall of 1825, Ira Fish began to build sawmills on Matanaukuk Stream. Work began on the upper mill in 1825 and was completed the following year. This mill was on the east bank of the stream near the present day location of the Lincoln Memorial Library. In 1826, a second sawmill was completed and this was known as the lower mill. Farming led to other businesses. Grist mills were constructed to produce flour from the grain. Raising sheep and cattle prompted other new businesses, such as carding mills. Housewives spun and wove the wool into fabric. It was said that a young woman who could not spin or weave was a poor catch for any man. Lincoln High School was incorporated by a legislative act on July 29, 1846, and built in 1847 at a cost of $1,000. In 1850, it was officially changed to Madinock Academy. The first schoolhouse in the town of Lincoln was built around 1827 and was located on what was known as the Hayscales lot near the present day location of the World War I monument on Lower Main Street. In 1830 the town bought the building for $142 and $9 for necessary articles and used it as a place for town meetings as well as a schoolhouse. The second schoolhouse to appear in Lincoln Village was built in 1839 on the Common on School Street. It was repaired two or three times until 1903 when it was moved to Matanaka Lake and used as a fire station. The first organized church in Lincoln was the Congregational Church in 1831. However, an actual building was not constructed until 1851. The Methodist Church, organized in 1836, was the first to have an actual church building, having it constructed in 
Lincoln Memorial Library was founded in 1879 and for many years was housed in stores and homes. In 1925, a marvelous colonial brick building was open to the public. It was, and is, a building of which the town of Lincoln can be justly proud. Today, the library is a valuable asset, not only to Lincoln, but to the surrounding communities as well. Built in 1837 by Joseph Stimson, the Coral House represents what was the state-of-the-art craftsmanship for the times. It is now currently the home of the Lincoln Historical Society. Enfield Road, formerly High Hill, is one of the first roads in Lincoln. There are no records stating when the bridge over Matanalka Stream and the road was built, but we do know it was rebuilt several times due to flooding to the stream. There was a ski area on Fish Hill in the 1950s and 60s. It had a rope tow that was powered by a red farmall tractor and run by a man named Archie. Do you remember when Ben Tibbetts had a runway behind his store on Hale Street? When I was growing up, this part of Edward Street and Hale Street was nothing more than fields and woods. We loved sliding down what we call Third Field and ended up in Taylor Street. This area is now where Colonial Health Care is. Matanoka Pond is one of a chain of four lakes and ponds that drain into the Penobscot River. The 832-acre pond is well suited for warm weather game fish and smallmouth bass. White perch and chain pickerel are also present. My dad told me of stories of swimming at White Sands Beach and skating on the ice. <laughs> 